Hello, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a currently checked out video. Um, we went to the library last night. So, the first three I've already had before, but I never got a chance to read them. So, it's Libra Bray's Beauty Queens. I think it's like Lord of the Flies meets Miss Teen. All I know is it's a bunch of girls stranded. Seems like fun. Um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, and two guys named Will Grayson meet. I know. And Janet Ivanovich is one for the money. I really wanted to get to this, but I just, somebody had it on hold. So, and plus I like the mass market paperback size. It's easier for me to hold. And this is just her Stephanie Plum, the book, the first book in her Stephanie Plum series. That's about all I know. Some of these are just pretty much I grabbed. Um, I've heard some good things. Well, I mean, I read If I Stay and um, Where She Went last year. So I decided to pick up Gail Foreman's Just One Day and Just One Year. Uh, I liked her writing. I think this one's just, you know, the a day in the life of two people that meet and then a year later. Or I'm, I'm not sure. But I seen them there, so I decided to grab them. And I've never read any Sarah Dessen, and I heard she's good, so I don't know anything about this one at all. Um, just says Caitlin seems to have fallen into a semi-conscious dreamland where nothing is quite real, so that seems interesting. And then, of course. As much as I want to own them right now, I can't afford them. But book two of the Lunar Chronicles is Scarlet. Yeah. So I read book one, Cinder, last year. Loved it. Or was it earlier this year? Loved it. So I want to continue on with the series. And then I'm supposed to be doing the um, Hobbathon huh, with... Um, for Sam of, it used to be novels and nonsense. Now it's just Sam's nonsense, I think. Um, but she has a Goodreads group, and I'll post the links below for um, reading all the Robin Hobbs books. And the first one is Assassin's Apprentice. And I was finally able to grab it, so I'll probably end up reading this next week. Um, because the, it, the read along started on May 23rd, but I think a lot of people started on May 1st. The next one is B is for Burglar by Sue Grafton. I, I read A is for Alibi for the Mystery... March Mystery Madness, I think it was called. And I wanted to continue on with the, the series. So, there's that one. Um, this next one, I'm sure everybody knows what it is. If not, you should really watch the movie. It was a good movie, and I need to watch it again. But I seen this on the shelf and decided to pick it up, and it's Schindler's List, the acclaimed classic of Holocaust literature by Thomas Keneally. Um, yeah, it, it was a good book, and they have some pictures on each of the chapter headings. I am a, I wouldn't say a history or World War II buff, but I like the, it intrigues me. That's the word. And then this one, I just happened to see it sitting on the shelf, and I thought it was such a cute title. And <laughs> it's the little old lady who broke all the rules by Kater I don't know if it's Katharina, Katarina Engelman Sundberg. And it just, it's about a little old lady in a retirement home who's bored. <laughs> so I thought that'd be kind of cute. Says the little old lady who broke all the rules is a quirky, humorous, and heartwarming story about growing old disgracefully and breaking all the rules along the way. 79 year old Martha Anderson dreams of escaping the dull, drab life of the retirement home. So that's as far as I read in the description, and that's all I needed. So that is my <clears throat> library haul for yesterday. Um, let me know what you're going to be reading or what you have out from the library if you use the library at all. I love it. Um, unfortunately, one of our smaller branches is shutting down because the mayor is a goop. But um, 
there's a big fight in our city right now. We have a main branch and two smaller branches. And the main branch has been there since inception. And the West End branch just got a brand new state-of-the-art huge um, library building. And they don't have as many patrons as the one that I go to, which is the small East End one. And they're shutting down the East End one. Go figure. So there's a big, big argument about that. And we're not happy too much, but it's because the mayor doesn't feel like we need three libraries. So. Anyways, I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.